year in year two for those guys to take a big step forward? Uh, just, just growth. You know, I think Des has done an excellent job of, of working. You can see the growth, you can see the improvement. I would say the same about Racy. You just um, he just hasn't been able to be a part of some of the team periods, but he's done a great job. Um, now it's just about getting it done in game situations. What do you guys do with, with Traylon Rob? Hadn't been able to get out there as often as he'd like, I'm sure. But what do you guys do to try to keep him up to up to progress? And, and so uh, he's getting he's getting touched from a lot of different angles, man. We're doing everything we can to keep him abreast. He's done a great job of responding to everything we've given him. Um, and uh, he's eager to learn and, and eager to get to work. Well, he wants to, obviously would want to be out here. How's he kind of handle the patience part of it and knowing you know, my time is coming? Well, it's, it's tough when you're young. And when you're young, you typically don't have a whole lot of patience, but he understands the process and uh, he's trying to control the things that he can control. How's, how's he done since he's been here? And does a guy come in with a you know reputation preceding him or does he come in with a fresh slate when he gets here? How's that well, work? He definitely came in with a fresh slate. I, I can tell you that I am. Uh, Static about the progress he's made and, and, and really his development and where he's at right now. Uh, you know, at the, and at the end of the day, we all know this game is all about what you do with the pads on. So uh, if he could take what he's done here um, and, and do it in training camp, uh, you know he's going to have a leg up for sure. What about Phillips? From what you saw from him from when he first got here to maybe now, got a long ways to go, obviously. But what, where is where is he making strides, or what does he need to do to find a spot? Well, I think he's uh, he's starting to understand, uh, you know, kind of some of the fundamentals that he's got to develop and, and how he's going to have to play at this league, play in this league in, in, in regards to being able to create separation and all those things uh, and to be effective on a consistent basis. Uh, those are things he's figuring out right now. But uh, the kid's got really good short area quickness and he's got a lot of tools to, to build on. After missing being on the field for him. Um, I mean, he's he's you know he's got getting all the installs and all the information. It's just a matter of being able to you know take get, take all of that information and put it to practice. Um, and I think you know you know some of that stuff will get worked out in between now and training camp. Is this issue, Rob, going to be resolved? I mean, you have a feel for. for you talking about trailing? Yeah. That yeah, he, gonna he, he's, he's, yeah, field? yeah, he's going. Yeah, he's going to be fine. He's, he'll be fine. I'm, I'm pretty sure. What's the, what's the growth you expect out of that? Um, in terms of the carryover for what we get to real simulated game type situations? Yeah. Oh, we, we, we expect it to have a, a significant impact, um, and, and we expect to get a lot of growth out of that. Um, you know, I think it, it's, it's valuable because it gives us opportunity to get added reps with our quarterback, get timing, all those things that are going to be necessary um, to, to, to make plays on game day. What